Welcome to Electro Online. Here we have another interesting problem from the JEE main physics test. And this one in particular because, remember, they're not allowed to use calculators. And I'm looking at this problem and go, and how do you do this without a calculator? Well, we'll figure it out. But anyway, let's read the problem first and see what we're dealing with. We're dealing with satellites in orbit. And we have two satellites, A and B, of masses 200 and 400 kilograms that are revolving around the Earth at a height of 600 kilometers and 1600 kilometers, respectively. If TA and TB are the time periods of A and B, respectively, then the value of TB minus TA is, and they give us four possible answers. Now, they do tell us that the radius of the Earth is 6,400 kilo kilometers, and that's, of course, rounded off. And the mass of the Earth also rounded to 6 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. Makes it just a little bit easier. And notice that if you add 600 to this, you get 7,000, and 600 to this, you get 8,000. So at least they make the numbers somewhat manageable. So what we're trying to find is the difference of the two periods, TB minus TA. So how do we figure that out? Well, first of all, the period can be found by using this equation. You know that the distance equals velocity times time, so therefore time equals distance divided by velocity. And in this case, for satellites, that's equal to 2 pi times the orbital radius divided by the orbital velocity. And that then gives us the period for one revolution. Now we also need to know that the orbital velocity is equal to the square root of g m over r. So if I plug that in here, we can then say that the period is equal to 2 pi r divided by the square root of g m divided by r, like this. And then if we simplify that a little bit, this becomes equal to 2 pi divided by the square root of g times m, and the square root of r in the denominator goes over here and becomes r to the 3 halves power. So here we have the period is some constant times r to the 3 halves power. So now let's try to figure out what that constant is equal to. So let's call that the constant c. And c is equal to 2 pi divided by the square root of g times m, which is equal to 2 pi divided by the square root of g is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. And m, the mass of the Earth, would be uh, 6, so we have to multiply that times 6 times 10 to the 24th. Now we need to round things off just a little bit to make things a little bit easier. So 6 times 6.67. Well, 6 times 6 is 36, 6 times 7 is 42, so that's about 40. So this is equal to 2 pi divided by the square root of 40 times 10 to the minus 11, 10 to the 24th, that would be 10 to the 13th times 10 to the 13th, which can be written as 2 pi divided by the square root of 4 times 10 to the 14th, which can then be simplified because the square root of 4 is 2, 2 divided by 2, well that cancels out, so we end up with pi divided by 10 to the 7, because 10 to the 14th, if we take the square root, we get 10 to the 7. So that's our constant in front of here, so we can say that this is equal to the constant, which is pi divided by 10 to the 7th, multiplied times r to the two, uh, 3 halves power. I was going to write 2 thirds, 3 halves power. So now we have an expression that the period of a satellite is equal to this. All right, now that makes things just a little bit easier since we don't have a calculator. Now what's next? Well, we need to calculate the difference between the two periods. So now we can write that TB minus TA is equal to, well, notice that the period is equal to this, so I can factor out a pi over 10 to the 7, so it's going to be pi over 10 to the 7 times the radius of B to the 3 halves power minus the radius of A to the 3 halves power. So now the radius of the orbit of B is going to be 600 kilometers 
plus 6,400, that's 8,000 kilometers, converted to meters is 8 times 10 to the 6 meters. So it would be 8 times 10 to the 6 meters minus, ooh, I'm not done yet, because it's to the 3 halves power, to the 3 halves power, like this, minus, and then I add 600 to 6,400, which is 7,000 kilometers, or 7 times 10 to the 6 to the 3 halves power, like this. All right, now, notice we have 10 to the 6 raised to the 3 half power, that's the same as 10 to the 9th. So this is equal to pi divided by 10 to the 7th times 8 to the 3 halves power minus 7 to the 3 halves power. And now multiply this times 10 to the 9th power because we can factor that out. So like this. And then we have 10 to the 7th. Uh, 10 to the 9 divided by 10 to the 7, so finally we can write here that Tb minus Ta is equal to pi times 100, or 100 pi, times 8 to the 3 halves minus 7 to the 3 halves. Okay, so 100 pi, that's 314. Now we're going to multiply this times whatever the difference is between those two. And let's, let's take a look at our answers. So we know that this is going to be 314 times 8 to the 3 halves minus 7 to the 3 halves. So we know this is more than 1. But how big is it? Well, we're not sure. But notice that anything less than 314 should not be possible. So it looks like A and B are probably not possible answers because you would expect this to be significantly bigger than 1, so these two probably are not the right answers, but either one of those two could be the right answers. So now what we have to do is, without a calculator, figure out what this is equal to. And we have to do it quickly because we only have 3 minutes. Can you imagine trying to do this in 3 minutes? Alright, so what I'm thinking about here is this. I know that 4 to the 3 halves power is equal to 8. And I know that 9 to the 3 halves power is equal to 27, right? You take the square root and then cube it, take the square root and cube it. So what's the difference here? The difference between these two numbers is 19. So now we have 5, 6, 7, and 8 to the 3 halves power. And so that's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's a difference of 5 numbers, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 19 divided by 5. That's about 4. A little bit less than 4. So the increases, I would say that this is probably equal to add another 3, we get 11. Add another 3, we get 14. Add another 4, we get 18. Add another 4, we get 22. And then add another 5, we get 27. So you can see that, of course, the increase would be progressively bigger as you get a bigger number raised to the 3 halves power. So that means that the difference between 8 to the 3 halves and 7 to the 3 halves is about 4, so roughly speaking. So I can replace this by 4, so this becomes 314 times 4, which is about equal to, let's say, about uh, 1,250, roughly. So now I'm looking for an answer that's roughly 1,250, and of course the answer would be in seconds because we convert every to MKS units. So now let's take a look and see, and notice here we have 1,330 seconds and 4,240 seconds. So this one is the closest to our approximate answer. So this one is probably not correct, those are too small, so it looks like the answer is C. And that is how it's done. So quickly, let's uh, kind of summarize what we did. We're given two satellites. We're given the heights of the two satellites. Those heights must be added to the Earth's radius to get the radius of their orbits. So the radius of this orbit would be 7,000 kilometers. The radius of that orbit would be 8,000 kilometers, of course, converted to meters. We know that to find the time period, we use distance equals velocity times time, so time is equal to distance over velocity. For satellite, the distance is 2 pi r, circumference around the Earth in its orbit, divided by the orbital velocity, that becomes the period of the satellite. 
Orbit velocity, good thing if you memorize this equation, is equal to the square root of gm over r. So when we plug that in for orbital velocity, we can solve that in terms of just the radius. And then this constant can be simplified to be pi over 10 to the 7 power, which we showed how we did that over here. Then we take the difference of the two periods, which is, of course, the constant, multiply times the difference of the radius to the 2 3 halves power. So 8 times 10 to the 6 meters, 3 halves power, minus 7 times 10 to the 6 3 halves power. Notice that 10 to the 6 to the 3 halves power becomes 10 to the 9th. We can factor that out. So we end up with pi over 10 to the 7th on the left, 10 to the 9 on the right. When we multiply that out, we get pi times 10 to the 2nd, which is pi times 100 or 314. That's what we have over here. And then we have to figure out the difference between those two without a calculator. And you can kind of approximate it using a scheme like this, whatever scheme you can come up with. Some of you probably have some good ideas about some other scheme, but then I roughly estimated that the difference must be somewhere around 4. So then you multiply 4 times 100 times pi, you get about 1250 seconds, which is very close to answer C. Yes, that's how I would do that without a calculator.